Hi guys, so I'm sure you watched my last video because you know why not? So you will know that I'm no longer at uni and so now I'm building myself a desk and a chair because I went and got one yesterday and I wanted a bit of a room transformation. Get rid of my dressing table and we're gonna have a desk so we can actually be more productive and so this is my chair. We're gonna start off with building the chair. Big space here, I'll show you. So big space here, which I'm gonna put the desk. Ignore the wires, we'll sort that later. Moved this here, which I'm not very happy with. Ow. I'm not very happy with because obviously the bed's like, there's not much room there, but I think it might have to do. But yeah, we're gonna get building. First things first, both of these were from Argos. And also, sorry if, it's... sorry if you can hear any background noise because um, I've got you on my windowsill and my window's open because it's too hot in here to be doing this without a window open. I'm so excited about this chair, guys. Like, so excited. But I thought the chair's probably going to be easier than the table. I feel like you might need two people for the table, I'm not going to lie. So, I thought if I can't build the table, at least I can film building the chair. This is so exciting. Got some instructions. This actually looks super easy though, so yeah. Ah! Oh. My gosh guys, look at my chair. I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna leave that in the packaging just down there. But whatever this is, some screws attached to the side. Got the base bit, that looks a bit like a drone type thing. Got the wheels and we've got whatever this is too. So, rid of this box. So you know what I'm gonna do with the box. As you can imagine the, you can see the desk actually in the background there. That box is even bigger and it's so heavy so I don't even know how I'm gonna carry it in here to build it, but. Hey guys, so, what do we need to do? I've got a toolbox here as well. We are prepared. So, right, apparently we need an Allen key, which just typical, isn't it? I'm not even sure if we have an Allen key. If we don't have an Allen key, I'm actually gonna cry. We have an Allen key. I really hope this is the right size and it fits because it fits the one that is on the picture. So I'm really hoping that that is the correct one because thank you God. Let's open the packages. Oh, that's the pumpy thing, isn't it? To pump it up. My battery's now flashing low, which is just fab. Now I have got my other um, camera. Like I'm currently filming on my G7X. Ugh, oily. I'm currently filming on my G7X, so, um, ew, why is it so oily? I'm filming on my G7X, so, yeah. Oh my god, wait, they give you an Allen key. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I'm actually so dumb. Someone's calling me, I'm scared. All good things, guys, it was the Brighton accommodation actually saying that somebody wants, will take over my room, so that's fab. There's obviously, Things I don't have to pay. So yeah, I love that. Although they've lost my form, so that's also fab. You know. I'm gonna actually just undo all of this, guys, and then I'll get back to you once everything's kind of out because this is probably gonna be boring. Okay, guys, welcome to Kira's DIY part two. Take two, rather. So I've got everything out now. So yeah, we're gonna look at the instructions and see what to do. Start off with the base. Here we are. Okay, so we need to attach the wheels. So here they are. I think they just screw in. Oh. I love the way it doesn't actually tell you like how the wheels actually go in. Is anyone else just as puzzled as me? So instruction manuals are actually like useless because this literally just says one, two, three, Maybe I just meant to get the bits out. Maybe I don't understand. Maybe it is that. So basically, guys, it's incredibly confusing, but it literally just says to put the wheels out. Oh, maybe you push it. It's got an arrow pointing up. No, I'm sorry, you don't push those. How do you get this in? Oh. Oh. Whole thing, guys, is just oil. Like, it's just oily. It's disgusting. Like how stupid that it doesn't actually tell you how to put this on. Like let me show you is the picture guys that I'm looking at. Literally does not even tell you how to put it on. Got an arrow pointing up, which does not help things at all. Probably is complete, but literally shut up. Um so I'm gonna leave this here for a minute guys until I figure out how to get a wheel in and then I'll continue. Guys, I got one wheel in basically, you just have to push it really hard like really hard. I'm gonna do this but I have to do it on the floor because I have to really push it in. <laughs> no. 
Oh my god. This is not okay. Why is this so difficult? It's not happening. How is an old lady gonna do this? Yes. Okay, right, we've got a second one in, guys. Yes. We've got the hang of this now, guys. This is this hard. And I literally think the desk is gonna kill me. But you know, my hand is not injured. But we've got a base with wheels. You put this thing in there, in the hole. It's pretty easy. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, right, so that literally just goes in the middle bit. Now, we need to get the actual chair. Look at this. Okay, so basically there's some holes on the bottom and I've got to attach this to that using the screws and the allen keys so yeah the shame yeah you just slot that onto that bob's your uncle we've got a chair uh we have a chair guys oh my god it's so comfy i'm so happy with my chair i love it oh my god you can like oh, ah! love it cute Done, guys. Bruh. Help. Oh. Alex on my foot. This is a bit big, guys. Oh no. We're crushing Craig David's album. Oh god, my legs start shaking. Can't actually see it because it's literally on the floor. We're gonna try and get it out of the box. I'm gonna put you down here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. But you also can't really. Oh god. I just realised I have music on in the background while I'm here. Really hope I'm not like cutting the table up. Oh lord. So I'm putting you back down here, but my other um, camera basically just ran out of charge and I have no idea where the charger is, so that's fab. Yeah, um, this is hectic. So I'm gonna get everything out of the box. You can't see me, hi. Focus on this is so bad. Guys, so I'm, oh, I think I'm in focus now, but I'm gonna take everything out of the box and then I'll get back to you. <laughs> okay, so I reckon this will go out of focus a lot because as I said, I'm on the big camera now because my, pardon me, my Canon G7X ran out of battery and now I can't find the charger for it, so that's fab. I have unboxed everything. This is the main desk. There's polyester or whatever you call it, that white stuff, absolutely everywhere, which is so annoying, but so we've got our instructions again. Here we go, right. That's the assembly will be easier with two people. We've just got weak little Kira instead. It's gonna be helpful, isn't it? Here are our screws again. What have we got? We've actually got a spanner, um, some long screws, some little shorter screws, two little nuts, and whoa, that's a lot of screws. A hell of a lot of screws and an allen key. Oh, we've got more here. Um, we've got an allen key, another one, and some more little screws. A lot of screws, which worries me a lot. So we need a hammer. Oh my god, we need a hammer. Oh my god, can you trust Kira with a hammer? I think not. Hammer, a crosshead screwdriver, medium and large. About that. Okay, there's one. Yeah. Medium and large? Yes, we've got it, guys. Eye protection. It says I need goggles. It's okay, we've got glasses. What? Ruler slash tape measure. I have got a tape measure. This is scaring me, guys. We need a flat blade screwdriver. I've got a couple of them, so I mean, one of them should fit. We'll go with this one. Okay, well, I think we've got everything. I can't believe I need a freaking hammer. That is, oh Lord. Here we go, guys. So, attach crossbar four and five. Right, what? What really irritates me is these metal bits. Oh, they do have numbers on them. I thought they were letters. Okay, well, that makes a bit more sense. We need four and five. So we've got four there. Five. These are five. Right, we'll work with them for now. And then we need three. The three. Okay. This is three. So we need two of the threes. Uh, patch crossbar four and five frame three by using four times screw c for each right screw c you see is the big old bag please do not tighten all the screw screws until step b is completed okay this is gonna be so much fun i just can't wait that's why you need two people because you need somebody to hold it up and then uh but we'll just we'll make do guys we'll make do what screwdriver do we need for these put two of the screws on the outside 
This is me looking like I know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna do that. We don't wanna do that. Take them out. Always going across the top. So that goes in like that. Okay, I see. Oh my god, what the frick am I doing? I put the numbers on the inside because I don't want to do this the wrong way around. So yeah, because then the numbers won't be on show, even though they're stickers. So I can take them off, but put that like that. Inside, outside, where do I put that one? It's on both sides, okay. This is me trying to see what I'm doing. It's very visible why you need more than one person, but I've kind of half screwed that in. So that will hopefully stay like that. I'm doing it with my hands right now, my fingers. I can't tell if that's in the hole or not. Right, okay. <laughs> okay. Not working, okay. <laughs> This is going to be a mission and a half, guys. Why won't that? Is that not in properly then? Probably not. Then it stops there. Why does it stop? Oh, that's better. This one gets jammed. So I'm a little bit confused. Fab, guys. This is going to take me hours. I don't even know why I'm filming this right now because, you know. Bruh! Can you please just get in the hole? I've literally just spat all over this. I'm gonna get back to you guys once I've done this bit because honestly, I think it's gonna take me like 50 years. So, oh, now one's falling out. Hey guys, so we have made one little thing, but it's still really loose because you're meant to leave it kind of loose and then tighten it later. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I've now got to make another one of these. So let's go. Okay guys, so as you can see I've built the second one. I did that a lot quicker this time. So now we need to, it says attach the shelf to, if that is this board here, two of them. It says attach the shelf to the assembled section by using four screws, which is the B screws. So let's put C screws back. See? Okay, so at the bottom of this, which you can't see, um, there's four little holes. So I've just got to line that up with the holes that are on the board, basically, and just connect them with these. Also, this Allen key actually, like, screws them all in at the moment. So I haven't needed my screwdriver. Look how nice this is, guys. Oh my God, that's so pretty. So we've got to put this in really loose right now. I've got to do it from underneath. Okay, I've got to tip it on its side, hang on. Okay, so I'm tipping it over like this. Board needs to slide on in there. Okay, cool. Ah, okay, cool. Okay, and then I've got to, so once I've attached this bottom board, I've then got to tighten all my screws because obviously at the moment they're all loose, so. Yaw, that's the Allen key. Alan, I hate myself. I keep dropping the Allen key as well, which is also not the most useful thing in the world, I'm not gonna lie. God. Okay, so I'm gonna do this and then get back to you guys. So again, I think I'm getting the hang of this, guys, because that was fairly easy. But yeah, sorry, I keep cutting out, but it's just because you can't really see what I'm doing. And it's literally taking me quite a while. So I'm like trying to focus on what I'm doing, but I've tightened all the screws and now the bottom thing's on. The only complaint I have is there is a tiny little gap on like one side, whereas on the other side there's not. Um, but you don't really notice it and I can't see any other way how you can like fill that gap kind of thing. So I don't really know. But anyway, I'm going to do the same with the other one now. So yeah. After having a lot of trouble with tightening the screws of this one, I've now found out that I've done it wrong. So basically guys, I mean hopefully this will be fairly easy but I've still got to undo it all. Um, basically, let me show you. So like on this one, we can see that there's two holes there and one at the bottom. And on this side, there's not. That's because it's on the other side and I was meant to put the bits of the holes on the same side basically and I didn't but it doesn't actually tell you to do that so it's the instructions fault but now I want to cry because I'm gonna have to take and I didn't even do it right on the other one so I'm literally gonna have to take one of the sides off of both of them and turn it around the other way I literally want to cry Aww. so we're gonna do that now guys <laughs> 
and end up back to where we are now. Just dropped the Allen key down the radiator. Okay guys, so we have successfully swapped them round. So now we've got the holes on the same side. So now we have these funky poles, which we need to like attach like across there, like diagonally, like across. Hopefully we'll be able to do this because I'm losing my patience right now. It is 20 to one and let's just say I've been doing this for a fair few hours. <laughs> was pretty easy guys she says now on to the next I've scratched it <laughs> Next one is done. That was literally the easiest thing I've had to do this whole time whilst building this desk. So, secure the supporting bar by using screw A. What? So, secure the supporting bar by using screw A and nut E. Tighten with supplied spanner. Oh, okay, I get it. So, basically, there's a hole like in the middle of the cross. Um, so basically I just need to connect that. Here we have got a spanner. Look at that, how cute. DIY Kira. And then in E we've also got two little bolts. What do you call them? Nuts. Nuts. See how far I can get it on actually. Which way is that meant to go? this around the other way because I can't really see what I'm doing. This is really difficult guys. Right, give me a sec guys, I'll get back to you. Excuse the fact I've just like undone my belt, it was like really tight on my stomach. But anyway, I've managed to attach it now, it was actually a lot easier than I thought. And we're now on to the next page guys, the things I'm looking up, although we've still got another page after that too, so. Oh wait, oh wait, well, that's the one I've just done. Oh, sorry guys, I got confused. So actually, we have only got one more to do. So that's great. I have to attach crossbar six to the assembled section by using two screw Ds. Look, we've got barely anything left. We've got a few more Cs and the Ds. The Ds. Yay. Oh my God, guys, we're nearly finished. Nearly built it. So I've got to position this where I want it now, I think, pretty much. Too loose now. <laughs> this is the final crossbar part before we put the main bit on. I haven't needed a screwdriver or a hammer yet though guys which confuses me like a lot. Go right so, so we've got to attach this across the middle. Oh my. Might get back to you guys once I have done this bit. Okay guys so I've put the bar on now we're on to the final section so I don't know where to put you guys so you can see although blurry again hopefully you guys can kind of see what i'm doing now but i've literally just got to attach this on um with a few screws so yeah this is like the heaviest bit as well though guys so hey right okay guys Session and a half when i've got no muscles oh god are we ready guys Oh my god, she's a queen. Oh, I'm an actual queen, guys. Go me. This is when we find out that it actually don't fit properly. We're on. Although that bit is a bit squashed. Can I try and turn it around? Try and turn it around, guys, which is going to be a mission and a half as well. You know what? We're just going to have to deal with the squashed edge because I don't physically know how to turn this thing round. I... I think I've got to move it this way a little bit more. God, I'm going underneath, guys. Where's my little... I oh, don't tell me I've lost the Allen key now. There is. Could you imagine? <laughs> oh my god, I can make a little fort under here. <gasps> what an idea. This is 
is a bit of a guessing game, isn't it? Okay guys, so I feel like this is going to take a while, so I'll get back to you guys when I've finished it. Oh my god guys, I have successfully made it. Look at this. I'm going to decorate it all up, but here we are guys. Let me go grab these chair now. Okay, is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I'm in love with it. Let me know your thoughts. It's quite big though, but I do love it. So guys, I'm now set up my new desk. I'm going to obviously set it up and stuff and make it look really cute. So... I will do a room tour if you want to see one guys. Am I off focus again? I think I'm in focus now guys, but I will do a room tour if you guys want to see one because my room's gonna look bomb. But at the moment it's looking like a bomb site. <laughs> it's literally like there's stuff everywhere. Like I kind of want to cry a little bit at the amount of stuff that I've got to put away now, but we completed it guys. It is 20 past one as well, so I've got time to sort it all out but yeah i'm really really happy with it i hope you guys did enjoy this video i just thought it would be quite funny to film um so yeah if you did enjoy this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up also make sure to check out my social media which is on the screen now and subscribe if you haven't already so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you all very very soon with the new one bye